my wife was eaten by a super croc. And ever since then, I have been hunting them along with crawdads. It is my life mission to destroy all cold-blooded creatures that live in the sewers of Flagstaff. Welcome to my personal search to the quest, Chuck Vendetta. Hi, and welcome to Search Truth Quest. This is our first episode. We're really excited. We're going to answer your emails, and we're going to find out the truth of what's going on. So anyway, so here's the first email from Vicky over in West Coconino. Um, this is not a question. Um, this is a statement, a very rude statement. Um, and the answer is yes. So where, where, do we have any of the real emails that here, we got this here? One. That take one's that one. not appropriate. This one's from Mrs. Gladwell from, you know, somewhere in the area, she doesn't say. She believes that under Flagstaff we have chuds, cannibalistic humanoid underground dwellers, or super crocs living in the tunnel systems under Flagstaff. She wants to know, is this true? Mrs. I think this is the one we gotta take. This is the one we gotta go with. What do you guys think? Team? Fantastic. Fantastic. Let's, Let's do it. it. Mrs. Gladwell, you will be glad to know that this is the one we're going to do for Search Truth Quest, our first episode. Are there super crocs and reptilian like creatures under the streets of Flagstaff? We are there. I can't wait to investigate. Me neither. You're not going to want this one. Ha <laughs> ha! Hi, I'm Mexano. I had a strange experience once. It was called my childhood. Now I'm a truth seeker and I've assembled a team of professionals who quit. So I hired some of my unemployed friends. If you ask the questions, we'll find the truth in quest form on Search Truth, Truth Quest. Search. Search. Quest. quest. Search Truth. Truth. Form. We loaded up our gear and talked Koki into doing the team's laundry, which she agreed to do, except Tony's. Today, to find the truth, we would need to make the arduous 2.7 mile journey down historic Route 66 from Sunnyside Flagstaff to downtown Flagstaff. A short time into our journey, however, we found ourselves hopelessly lost. Don't we? Our vehicles. Hey, boys. Uh, hey, Zeno. Hey. I think we're, we, no, we're supposed to be like outside on Beaver. No, I, I think we gotta head down this north, north, north. Let me, let me jugle it. Will our intrepid heroes find their way from one part of Flagstaff to a decidedly different part of Flagstaff? Man, it's only like two blocks away. It's so far, it's far for us. In episode two, we find the Search Truth Quest team in the very bowels of Flagstaff, when instead of finding a chud or reptilian, they instead find a giant did, did, did We can stop talking! Well, you always do this wrong. You're going to tell everybody. We gotta give why would someone tr this tune the, in if you're going to tell them? The, hey, the do you have that ble beep it's thing? The beep thing? You know, the beep? You got to have a cliffhanger. The beep. Like this? Beep. Yeah, that. Can you go back and beep over everything he just said? No. You guys got to go. Hey, Zano, Zano, look, look, it's that um, um, gluten-free fawn I was telling you about. Oh, so it's more easily digestible for our viewers. Yeah, both of them. All right, okay, seriously, it's time to go.